today, I will demonstrate a review of this ultimate shoe. Now, this one is another Kirby. I got it about two weeks ago, and I've wanted this one for a long, long time. And it works great. So far, it's been working great. One thing about Kirby, um, this is probably the only model that I have. They probably made a few other ones with this, but I'm pretty sure they didn't make any other models with this. But... But on this bag, it has a curved zipper, so it's like a door when you open it, so it's easier to get to the dust bag. And another thing about these, well, I'll show it to you now, but what it is, is that um, this strap is different from another regular vacuum cleaner because this looks like a different type of any type of bagged vacuum cleaner because this one, this looks really weird, doesn't it? It looks like that's actually connected to it, but it's not. What it does is it's one that you have to twist, and then once you twist it, you pull it off like this, and it comes off. And then to get it back on, one thing that you will have to do is this strap, you saw that it was in a different position. And I'll show you how to thread that later on in the video. But for now, what I will show you is what's nice about these tubes is when you lock the handle in a position, I'll show you with that later on in the video with the handle lock it'll stay down like this and when it stretches it it'll stretch the bag out but the tube would prop it won't stretch but one thing Kirby did to make it where it'll go all the way down is they made it stretchy to get on the bag you take these tabs these tabs and line it up with these tabs on the bag so what you do is you push it and you twist it right where these tabs go in then you take it and it's sealed now it's not done properly by just throwing it in and zipping it up it's not done because then it it's it's not how you do it properly so this strap, I will show you how to thread. How I like to do it is I stick my three, my finger through this hole, lift up this piece, and then take this string and catch it through with that finger. Then this hole right here that my finger's through, that hole will go up and you twist well you you have to get it angled and put that on now it's proper and now you can put the bag in and the way I like to do it is I have it like a door open so then like well I'll show you this too it's Kirby on this this part right here, it says Kirby Micron Magic Kappa Filtration. Now, if any of you out there um, who have Kirby's and you feel these bags with Micron Magic, you can feel it and it doesn't feel like regular cloth because that's the Micron Magic that you will see up here um, in the bag and you can see here it has little holes and you can see it here so when the pores of the bag open up and the dirt gets trapped in sometimes 
let's say um, when you opened your package was full of bags and maybe you got a hole in it and you didn't know. Dust will not blow out of this Micron Magic. And the Micron Magic lets out only air. So that's one thing that Kirby was good about. So it's easy to live without sneezing and coughing every day when you wake up. One thing that you are supposed to do is when you get your bag, it says only fill to this level, which you only get this much space in your bag. Though the bag is this big, that doesn't mean fill it up that size, but only fill it up to where the hole line is. Now that handle lock I was telling you about is, I'll show you, this handle lock right here, here you see this, now you see that little metal bar there that my finger's on. When you, sh what you're gonna do is on this you're gonna push slightly, just a little. Sometimes you don't even have to push, and that bar goes away. Then you can push it down like this, and that tube in there where the dirt goes up, it stretches. So what you will do now is when you look at this again. You can hold your handle down, but one thing that's nice about Kirby's is sometimes your old vacuum hose would come up because it was plastic, but Kirby's handles are spring-loaded. So what you can do is this part, you can push it to the side, then it comes out over here on this side, and you can see it, it's right there, and it's locking it so it can't come so then, what you will do is you can take this and push it up, and I'll demonstrate kind of a wall part. This won't be a real wall, but it'll act like a wall that would be in your closet. Now, this will save space. So, if you're like, this is, this is such a big vacuum, uh, I, I don't think I could have that. It takes up too much space. Well, this is helpful. Now, you will wind up your cord whenever you do it, once you're done. Now, usually, when you're about to carry it regular, and it's this is down, you just pick it up like that, and it goes everywhere. But, you have to hold it the proper way, because this is in a different position and it'll be flopping around. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold on to this and then hold on to this. Now push down on this and lift with the bottom part. Then and take it and then lift it over. Now one thing you will have to do is give it just a little space, just a little space out, so then it's going to lean that way. But that's how you do it. But then, when you're thinking, well, I need to get it out, how do I get it out? Because I just followed your rules, how do I get it out? Huh? You pull it up and do the same instruction of lifting. Now, you could if you had space, but let's say you didn't have space for the handle to come up. What you would do is bend down and push into another area. Then, always push it down because it's spring-loaded. Then, push the handle off to the side. And then, now it's going to be lowered, or you can lower it all the way like this. Now, if you do this, you're going to see a little bar here, too. Now, what you can do with that bar, make sure you're thinking, oh, it's just a piece of loose metal. Maybe they put that on by accident, or you're only Kirby. 
but I'll show you what that piece is meant for. What you're going to do is take your handle lock again and push it to the left. Then once it looks like that, you can vacuum regularly and vacuum where it'll only go down like this. So when the handle's like this, when the handle's like this position, let's say um, you were doing, let's say you were doing a rug with fringes. You need to get it up and you need to get to that end, but you want to still suck, suck up the dirt on them. What you can do is, let's say this was lowered down, your head was lowered down. I'll show you how to do this in a few minutes. But what you do is you, let's say it was lowered all the way down, and then you need to get to the end. Oh no, I can't vacuum my end and I can't get that dirt up. You can push it up just a little and get that. Now, if you're lazy like me, what you can do is you can do this and just take out the belt lifter. And right now I will demonstrate how to take off the head because this looks like it you it doesn't have any attachments. And how are you gonna get the hose on to fit those attachments? Because it has a wide variety of attachments. Um one video I will show the attachments and it being a canister vacuum because you can convert this to a canister vacuum. So what you can do is you can take this handle, wrap your hand around it, and push it all the way around once the right arrows line up. Now, inside, you're going to see, see the belt? This belt... One thing that came about it is when this spins, the fan's in there. And that fan, some people think the curvy fans are for cooling down the motor. Now, that one is for suction. That one's for suction. Now, over here, this spin is from another fan that um, it blows out the motor so then it doesn't get hot. So that it does have a fan to cool down the motor. This one does, it did have a light bulb that worked. It's, it's still in there, but one video I will show you how to replace it. And once I get it, get a light bulb, but this light bulb broke, so. But it had a good life, I'm sure. So, anyway, what you can do is you can use it just like this without the brush hole. Because when this is spinning, that's, let's say, it was on right now. And that fan was spinning, spinning, spinning. But you don't want your brush hole on. Now that belt is connected to this. And it spins it as the fan spins. So what happens is that belt is connected to the brush hole right here. So if you do that, what happens is that when you see this hook in here, that's lifting it up. Now that lifts it up so you can get the head off or if you want it as a straight suction cleaner and no brush hole. Now as a straight suction cleaner, what you can do is you can get that on straight suction cleaner. I'll show you an easy hint right here. It'll show you how to do it, and it'll say belt on, belt off. So if you want belt on, you're going to switch it back. There's a green arrow pointing to that green. So that means belt on. Now that hook let go. And now the belt is dropped on. Now to get it back, now to get it back to a straight suction cleaner if you're doing hardwood floors, you can switch that back until the right arrows line up and that's belt off. Now for today's demonstration,
fishing all day morning, I will be doing a vlog right here. So what we will have to do is we will have to do it with the brush all on. Now you're if you look at this right here, this head, you're gonna think, oh, there's no suction. How is that brush rolling to get to it? Well, down here, the thing about that is this part here is not gonna be able to get to it. So then, what we're gonna have to do to demonstrate that is you see this part right here? This part, you're gonna see right here. If you can look straight to that, you can see there's arrows. That one means down. So, what you're going to do is, I'll just demonstrate that right now. Now, to get it, then don't be scared. It will turn on just to show you how to work that. Now, to know for sure how you do it, what you're going to do is once you hear a change in motor tone, that is when you're done. So, turn it on. So let's say we just back in your arm. Okay, your, your arm's worn out. Oh, the Kirby's are so heavy. And what, these things are heavy. That, that's not easy. Oh, anyway, to get the head up, to get the head up, when you look back up here, when you go back up here, there will be a big pedal that says up. So let's say you just did that, you're lower the head, you're in the just vacuum, and then you need to raise that head up because maybe you're doing a different level of raw, or maybe you're doing hardwoods and you just want to have it above the hardwood floor. Just put it on that bottom pedal, pedal with the arrow facing up, push it up, and it goes up. Now, you know Kirby's are heavy. So, maybe your arm was sore because some people complain, these things are so heavy. And some people also complain, what are these here? Neutral and what? What is that? I've never, oh, I know what that's for. Well, I've known that ever since I've gotten my first Kirby. What it is, is it's kind of like a car. Kirby's are so heavy, it's self-propelled. So it says neutral right now. You're able to push it back and forth. You're probably wondering right now, why did my handle, why did my handle, if you look up here, you see this little piece? You see, when you push it back and forth, you see that's moving. That's how check drive works. Now, the thing about that is what it does is that when it's in neutral, you're able to push it. Now, when it's in drive, when it's in drive, and you look up real close, it has a D and an N. Now, let's say you wanted it to be easier to push. Click on that D. Oh, wait. I forgot. I was on regular force. You see, it's not going to move because it has to be on for tech drive to work. You see, it's not going to work with tech drive. Not on. So... You're going to be able to have it in neutral, and you're going to have a better time pushing your curve. So, now, let's say you were in a situation where you needed to just see this happen in real life. So, what you're going to do is when you look, this is your on and off switch. Now, what you're going to do is we're going to run through this. And we're going to learn how to do it, and you were just in a regular vacuum. One,
much how it works. Now, if it was in drive, it's still not going to do it. If it's in um, drive, what it's not going to do it, so you're going to need it in neutral like I just told you. Now, what if we were in the situation where, let's say you forgot to do some of this. Um, Kirby makes a type of disk where you can run through it and it'll show you how to do everything. Now you can look it up on the internet, part one through five. Now, if you come over here, now you're thinking the bag, oh, you have a bag you don't need to empty it anymore. Well, the thing about it is Kirby, bigger particle, particles that are heavy and that stuff, it's just gonna, it's gonna sit down on the floor and stuff, but Kirby's powerful suction will pick it up. So it'll pick it up. Now you're probably thinking, I'll take the bag off to demonstrate this part. Do you look up in this part? It, the dirt goes into that fan and comes out here, into this part, and up into the bag. Now, those big particles, you're probably thinking, are going to sit down there and they're not going to get out of here. Kirby's powerful suction is going to blow all that air. Then all of that dirt or the big particle gets up in this part and it's called the mini emptor. And in this part, there might be particles and you shake it over a newspaper and all of those big particles come out. Now, I don't have any big particles to pick up that I have picked up, so it will come out whenever you do it if you have sucked up big particles. Now one thing about Kirby's is they have multiple safeties. Is if you see this, you see look, that's a safety there. This piece right here, up there, and it's kind of like a little button. Now to get your bag back on by the mini emptor, you're gonna see this little piece that's sticking out. Then you're going to see this piece right here. So line those up, then twist it towards the Kirby. And that's on. Now it's activated that safety. Now one thing up here is there's another safety because if not, if you have children and they're curious and the, they turn the back on without the head, and they want to stick their finger on and see what it feels like. While it's spinning and that suction is on, I don't know, big certification first. So, Kirby made safeties all around it. Here's a safety. Now, that's kind of like a button for this. Now, why is there two on it? One is to activate it at the hose going so that activates this only one at the top. That's full speed because when it when you're using a canister vacuum, it's never the same suction as it was when it's in the motor because it has to travel through the hose. Now your vacuum doesn't have as much powerful suction as it says. Now it does have that powerful suction. It's just it doesn't do that through the hose. Now that stops it from being powerful, so that's why this has two speeds. So first one here, that'll make it full speed. Second one here on the head, because it's going to be an upright position with the head, it has this little piece right here, and that'll stick into this smaller one. So I'll demonstrate an easy way to see the head going on too. Now, if you look here, you're gonna see these hooks. Now you see these end of the bar. What you're gonna do is take this and try and get the fan under in the, in the, under the hook. And then 
get those pieces, these hooks, in there and line it up. And then if you look over here, you see that part, it's going to activate the safety. Now what you're going to do is take this and turn that over and then pull this out and belt on. Now you're probably thinking, well, he's being all chatty ready. I just want to see this thing run. Come on, I just want to see it run. Okay, I'll do this for you. my Kirby Ultimate Sheet. And one thing, I thought I'd save this for the end. They're telling me this is on your secret. I was thinking I probably wouldn't tell you this, but I will. Now you're probably thinking, why is there a dial? Why is there a little hole? It's a coin saver. So, there's different quotes. You can look them up. One said, a Kirby pays for itself. So if you're vacuuming, um, let's say a salesman comes in and they pick up a penny and they didn't see it. Now, you're probably thinking, oh no, I broke my $1,000 Kirby because Kirby's are in the th are in the thousands. Because you can shampoo rugs, buff floors, you can sand, massage yourself, massage your scalp, a Swedish massage unit, it can do lots more than you can say. So when you can turn that dial and lift this off, and then to get it back on, you can put that up and turn that on. But when you suck up a coin, the Kirby spin is so hard, and it's spinning so fast, it's like knives just spinning. So it'll chop that and chop that up and make it and make that just turn into dust. It doesn't kill your Kirby. You can't kill a Kirby. Bye.